Welcome back to I Want You Back Lesson 2. Today we're going to be focusing on measure 25, 25 to 34. And we're going to take the second ending. Make sure that you do that. Take the second ending on this. And then uh, that is the exact same as measure 47 to 53. So again, 25 to 34, take the second ending on that. And then 47 to 53 is the exact same thing. A little bit of history uh, about this song. It was released in 1969, um, back when corduroy was cool. I'm trying to bring it back, because I want it back. Um, this was the band's uh, first number one Billboard hit, as I said in the first uh, episode. And uh, it sold, get this, sold over 6 million copies worldwide. Really, really popular song. Um, and a lot of people have enjoyed it since. Alright, some interesting things about this section. Uh, the alto and horn, the alto and horn have a really cool counter melody starting right in 25. So I really want you guys to listen carefully and nail that part. It's really, really cool. Okay? Uh, flute, clarinet, first trumpet, and bells. You guys have the melody. Um, flutes have a fun ornament, and I'll make sure I point it out to you in measure 30. Tubas and berry sax. The last two notes in 28 is just you on that. And percussion. You have a different jam starting in measure 25. And we're going to start with that today. I'm going to demonstrate that jam. Um, starting with the snare drum part. Okay. So have, picking one stick to be dominant, which will go on the rim. Second ending. Okay, I messed up the second ending a little bit. Um, here's the second ending again. Okay, and that should, if, if you get that groove through there, that's going to be perfect. Okay, taking it slow. Okay, might be something fun for you to practice, even if you're not a percussionist. Okay, moving on to the quad toms. Your groove right here is pretty awesome. Ding, do, ba, dum. Di, di, dong, ding, boom, boom, bum. Di, di, dong, ding, boom, boom, bum. Di, di, dong, ding, boom, boom, bum. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? And that's different than almost any other part in the music. Uh, bass drums, different even yet. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 and that boom, 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 boom is I want you back. Okay. Symbols I forgot to mention in the last lesson, starting in measure seventeen. I do need these. In seventeen, you're gonna um play what's called a choke. So you're gonna rest on beat one, one choke, one choke. And that's where you kind of press the cymbals together and make sure they don't ring afterward. Okay? Now, starting in 25, here's your rhythm. Crash, two, one, two. Crash, two, one, two. Crash, 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 crash. Crash, two, rest, two. Okay? And that'll get you through to measure 34. Okay, I wanted to start uh, with the other instruments with alto, because uh, alto and horn, you have that really, really cool line. Mrs. Brown, you can't see her, but she's excited about that because she plays horn. And always, maybe they don't usually get the melody, but they, man, they get some cool parts. Okay, so here's 25. Really bring this part out, the first three notes especially. <laughs> Dig into 
that is such a neat part and man it's going to make the music sound really really cool if you bring that part out altos and horn all right here's the trumpet part starting on a high g in measure 25 Uh, let me get my note here. A little higher. <laughs> Notice, uh, trumpets, that I am playing a B natural. Okay? Second finger down. B natural for that. Okay, moving on. Here's the flute part in measure 25. Flutes. Starting on that high F, remember, one, uh, excuse me, thumb, one, second finger's up, uh, third finger down, one, and then pinky. And it's up high. One, two. And I talked to you about that cool ornament in measure 30. Um, we want to make sure we bring this out because nobody else has it, just you. Let me do that again. So G A G F. Do ba da da. Nice and quick, too. Really, really neat part. Okay, clarinets. Here's 25, starting on high G. challenge you again I'm gonna try and say this every lesson even if I'm not playing your part you should try playing along to see how your part fits okay here's the trombone part starting in 25 you back at the end there pretty cool um, the high note there the high E is third position so make sure you're doing third on that one all right here's the tenor sax part matched by the baritones you get a little bit of the melody here <laughs> It's a really, really cool part. So there's a tenor, and here is the tuba part. Pretty similar, except lower. And like I said, in measure 25, 26, 27, 28, those two notes at the end are really, really cool if you can bring those out. Oh my gosh, it's gonna make the music sound really awesome. All right, band, I miss you so much. Let's, uh, let's make sure we're washing our hands, uh, keeping that social distance six feet apart, and hope you're making some great music. I really look forward to getting our, all of our recordings together so we can have a performance of this. Okay, have a great day, and we'll see you for lesson three.